Laser eye surgery, known as LASIK, has helped millions of people see clearly without contacts or glasses. Now, though, U.S. health regulators are investigating whether the surgery is actually living up to its claims. Dr. Maria Simbra joins us now with details on this. Dr. Maria? Well, thanks, Ken. LASIK uses lasers to carve the clear part of the eye so you can see better. It costs anywhere from $500 to $2,500 per eye, and many vision insurance plans don't cover it because it's considered cosmetic. A decade after its debut, the Food and Drug Administration wants a second look. The FDA is taking a closer look at LASIK, specifically whether this vision-correcting procedure improves patients' lives. For some patients, it does. And they get off the table and they say, wow. Uh, especially people who cannot see the clock across the room or uh, cannot see uh, their alarm clock in the morning or faces without putting their glasses or contacts on. But not everyone has such good results. Known complications include dry eyes, glare, double vision, swelling, infection, and blindness. These issues come up in fewer than 2% of patients. They're reading 2020, but they'll say it's not a good 2020. They'll complain of glare or halos. There's something... It's immeasurable. The laser procedure was FDA approved in the mid-1990s. It says the information since then shows no unexpected complications or problems occurring at an unexpected rate. You don't know what the 10-year results are going to be if you've only been doing it a few years. We don't know what uh, is down the road for these patients. Dr. Palin has recently stopped performing LASIK. Low-cost, high-volume centers make the economics of the community ophthalmologist offering the procedure challenging. I really like to bond with my patients and spend more time, and I think it's worth more than that. Now, long-term issues might come up at the FDA hearings, like how to adjust for LASIK when people eventually need cataract surgery. The hearings could happen as early as next month, but it's doubtful the FDA will reverse course, seeing that for the most part, the procedure has been safe and effective. I'm Dr. Maria Simbra, KDKA, TV News.